everybody welcome back today I'm just sitting in my backyard it is going up to 83 degrees here in Michigan it may get higher they always say that and then the temperature is higher than usual so uh, but I wanted to show you another quick unboxing today I received this box in the mail I thought it was some organic coconut sugar that I ordered because that's what I use in my coffee and I'm out so I'm desperately waiting for it but when I picked up the box I thought that doesn't feel like sugar so I opened it up and to my pleasant surprise I received an order from Pentalic. It's funny it came the day after the Denic things came so I just wanted to share with you what I got a lot of it you have seen before um, they sent me and this is my final order of the year because I do have a limit on what I can order, um, which was a very generous limit, I might say. Uh, but I got three of the five by eight and a half aqua journals, um, which I use for the most part for my like urban sketching and things like that. The size of these books is terrific because if you don't have much time to sketch or you want to keep the detail down in your sketch, that's a little secret for those of you who are just getting into urban sketching. Not that I'm a super expert or anything like that, but um, the larger the book, the more detail you kind of have to fit in or your sketches look very plain and empty. You may have noticed that with your own sketches. Why does it look plain and empty? Well, if you had put it in a smaller book, you can keep that detail down and it looks perfectly normal, which, which is an easy trick to um, urban sketching. Then I got another one of these Dreamcatcher books. I haven't even used the first one yet, but I, I think I was hanging on to it because I, um, it was the only one I had and I was afraid to get started in it. But since summer is quickly approaching I thought I'd get one of these and for those of you who are new to these Dreamcatcher books this is 140 pound 300 GSM cold press white acid free paper and it is done in an accordion fold it has 10 pages oops what the heck happened here there's something in the book it's a leaf all the way from Oregon isn't that funny and here I am sitting outside. That's okay. I'm not worried about it for free. What can I say? There's a couple things in here, though. I'm going to have to um, clean it out. Huh, that's very strange. So on one side of the book, you get 10 sheets of paper because the pages that are glued down are um, paintable. You can paint on them or draw on them or whatever and then on this side you've got the covers of the book so there's only eight pages one two three four five six yeah eight pages so you have a total of 18 paintable pages and the nice thing like I said about um, this is disappointing about their watercolor paper is that um, the tooth is pretty much the same on both sides uh, this does show a back and a front, where the other books that don't seem to do that. And um, I think I can take an eraser to these little specks that are on here. I don't know if you can even see them and get them off. There's a, a mild little stain from the leaf, but chances are there'll be a landscape in this and there'll be a tree there, so or a hill or something like that. So um, anyway... That is another one of the books that I got. Also, something I wanted to tell you about with, and I'm going to be doing it fairly soon um, on a video, um, is that on the corners of these, I'm finishing up a book right now um, today. Let me just grab it here real quick. And I can show you what I did. Um, I wanted to see if I could paint the covers. And this one obviously has stickers on it, so I haven't painted it. But I took acrylic paint to the outside, and um, this is just volume six of my sketchbooks, my small sketchbooks. I didn't give volume numbers to my earlier sketchbooks. Um, I just started doing this last summer, so um, I've been giving 
volume numbers to my other pentallic books and my other good sketchbooks, but um, they're not full yet. When they become full, they get the next number, regardless of the dates, the order dates and stuff. So, But anyway, I used acrylic paint this time. I had used a Sharpie paint pen before, and it was just not opaque enough. So I put some, I just grabbed some cheap craft paint that was in the corner of my room, rather than getting my good golden or whatever out and um, painted with, the, it was pink. I'm not a pink person, but um, it was a pale pink and I painted it on here and it stays very well. So I may just paint the covers of my books. Um, I don't know if you've noticed James Gurney, he paints the covers of his books and they look just terrific. I would love to do that one day. But anyway, I got off track. So I've got these four books here. Then I got, one, two, three more of the large eight and a half by 11 um, Pentallic Aqua Journals. And I noticed I couldn't find any on Amazon. So I was worried that, and then I didn't see them on their website either. I was worried that they stopped making them, but it could just be that their production was getting behind. I don't know. She didn't say um, Judy when I talked to her. So anyway, she sent me these three. So I've got these three, these three, and then this Dreamcatcher book. And then last but not least, I got another watercolor field book. And these are great for in the field. I'm not usually a fan of the uh, spiral bound books, but I've found with this book that if I want to paint bigger in the field, this is a much easier book to hang on to because I don't have to have it wide open, you know what I mean? And again, this paper is 140 pound. Um, oh, I'm sorry, and this is a nine by 12. The others were eight by eight and a half by 11, that's right. This is a nine by 12, and um, it has 140 pound paper, 300 GSM. Um, this one is made in Malaysia, and it's put um, the paper is made from certified sustainable forest. Basically what that means is anything that they cut down, they put back into the forests. So that's a very nice, uh, nice thing about these books. And again, the paper you can paint on both sides. The tooth is very nice on both sides of the paper. It is not too heavy a tooth to use fountain pen on. I normally use fountain pen in my sketches unless I'm either out of ink or um, I'm in a hurry and I don't wanna wait for something to dry. Like my Noodler's ink takes a little bit longer to dry. If I use my Platinum Carbon pen, that dries almost immediately, but if it's not handy next to me, I might grab one of my Micron pens um, that I use, um, my Uniball ones. But anyway, that is that for this, this book. And this is also an excellent book. And then of course, I've told you about the nature sketchbooks that I don't have here, but those are uh, mixed media book. You can still use watercolor on them just fine. Um, if you do heavy washes, you might get a little bowing of your paper, but it does dry flat. Um, but that's just a warning if you're doing watercolor on those. But those books um, have money, the part of the proceeds that goes to um, the American Wildlife Foundation, which is also another great cause. So between Denick yesterday, um, using a portion of their proceeds to help build schools in uh, South America, um, and also to help sustain artists, which is another great, great thing. Um, these also help out with different charities um, by using sustainable, sustainable forests for their paper and also by helping the American Wildlife Foundation. And one thing with these books that I did not mention, and I'll just show you in the book that I'm working on, there is a, um, I'm almost done with this book here. There is a pocket, wow, I'm really almost done. There's a pocket in the back, which is really nice if you're doing like a travel journal and you wanna put your ticket stubs or maps or things in the back of the book. It's a nice heavy duty pocket. The side has like a plastic or canvas, canvas kind of tape to it. It's not paper, I don't know if you can hear that. It's not paper like this is. 
Um, so it helps to um, keep it from tearing, you know what I mean? I think the moleskin books are paper on the edges. So with the pulling in and out and in and out of the of the pocket, you'll eventually get tearing, but not with this because they use the special tape um, on the sides. So that's great. And then also, of course, they have the stretchy um, brush holder. And on their website, they say it holds, uh, I forget one, what brand it is of Kalinsky brush, but really it'll hold almost any any watercolor brush as long as the width isn't too big. I mean, if you were going to put a size 6 or a size 8 in there of a brush, it would fit in here. Also, quite often, I put my um, Platinum Carbon Fountain desk pens in here because they're perfect for that. And then I carry them along with me. So anyway, that is it for this video on these books. I'm very happy to have these. These should hold me through the end of the year and then some. And then... Um, Hopefully next year then I will be able to continue on with Pentalic. So um, they said to thank you all for their f the feedback. Um, they thanked me for the feedback that I've been giving them. I've been telling them about your concerns that I hear from you and the compliments that I hear from you as well. So um, I wanted to take some of your posts that you put on YouTube and send them to them so that they can see how much you guys are caring about these books. So keep the comments coming, um, good, bad, or indifferent, and let me know what you think of the books. Any of you who had problems with the bindings, I wanted to show you this book I've been working in for since uh, February, and along with other books. But I, like I said, I am almost done with it, and I have not had any binding issues. See, there's no wiggle at all in the binding, and um, it's holding open, no problem. So they fixed that problem in manufacturing. I'm sorry the garbage trucks are coming today and they're around the block so you can hear them. But, but anyway, I just wanted to tell you that. So if you have tried them before and you stopped because of the binding issue, please try them again because um, they're awesome books and uh, they fixed it. So anyway, everybody have a terrific day. Remember, be courageous, paint with wild abandon, and most of all, be kind to each other. Get out there and enjoy this beautiful spring weather. Um, God bless you all. Bye-bye.